New COVID strain is the most transmissible yet, WHO says. Here's a summary of the article. What we know, public health officials have detected the strain in 29 countries, but it could be circulating in many more, Van Kerkhove said. The WHO doesn't yet know whether XBB.1. Death rates were about seven times higher at this time last year, and hospitalizations were almost three times as high. Both categories have been lower at various points in the pandemic and hospitalizations in New England, where XBB.1. Van Kerkhove said the increase in hospitalizations in the Northeast cannot be attributed yet to XBB.1. What's next? Jar warned that Americans' immunity against XBB.1. COVID tests and antiviral pills Paxlovid and Molnupiravir should work just fine based on what we know, Jar tweeted. This post received a score of 19,000, with an up-vote ratio of 83%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Feels like the Bachelorette where each finale is the most dramatic finale Bachelor Nation has ever seen. I just don't think he's here for the right reasons. These strains ain't loyal. Can you not mutate for five minutes? Homer Simpson. Most transmissible so far. Wouldn't every new strain of note have to have some sort of competitive advantage over the previous ones? Otherwise it wouldn't be a threat and wouldn't be of note. I assume that every new strain we care about will be more transmissible than the last. Or perhaps more resistant to vaccines or something. Not necessarily, if by strain of note you mean a designation like the WHO's variant of concern. We could actually see a less infectious but more lethal strain on that list, provided it was deadly enough to rack up a body count. Interestingly, strain of note and variant of concern are both great band names. Not to mention the WHO, but it's taken. Shit gonna be like iPhones, a new model every year. 2030, the COVID Pro Max Ultra 5G. Every time I hear Pro Max somewhere, it sounds like some male enhancement pill. I bet whoever named this at Apple is secretly laughing about it constantly. It's a shame they haven't done a Max iPad yet. When the iPad was first introduced that was the joke. This shit is about to teleport from person to person if it gets any more transmissible. I sneezed while typing this so I think you have it now. Damn I thought about you sneezing now I think I have it. And for what it's worth, don't go to your ER if you test positive but just have a fever, aches, cough, headache. Do go if it's an emergency. I work in an ER and lately 75% of the people walking through the door have COVID or flu and all they're doing is wasting resources that are needed for actual emergencies. My mill got COVID and when the symptoms got worse after two weeks, her doctor and local urgent care both refused to see her. She went to the ER just to get anyone to help her. I'm sure we're already at the point this is something we'll always have now and new strains will just come out yearly. I sat on a board meeting of a clinic during the initial news of COVID happening in China and one of the doctors who specialized in disease said that this would end up like the flu where every year it mutates and every year we get a shot. Back in 2020, Dr. Fauci was going on TV and saying that infection with COVID is inevitable. It's not a matter of if you get it, but when. The mitigation techniques were just to slow it down. So hospitals weren't getting overloaded. It was also buying us time for vaccines and antiviral treatments to become available. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.